to you. Oh, he's here. He's arrived. He's arrived. Help. <laughs> he's here. <laughs> I'm so excited. Help My me. bestest pal in Help. the world ever from Yorkshire. <laughs> what point is it? Ruti, watch this. this. Click. There's no spell of anything in here, Ruti 2D. Stuart, stop clicking his. <laughs> I, I am, I am, I am. I'm clicking mine. I am. She'll call me a CUNT. CUNT. <laughs> See you next Tuesday. <laughs>
What's that you're seeing, Flinty? What is it? It's getting brighter up there, look. It's getting brighter? Brighter. Well, it's not the best of days, Flinty, but I have to say that any day out with you, pals, a bright one. Help. <laughs> So after enjoying a nice piece of cake and a coffee, we turn right here at Newby Head Moss onto the Dales Way, where the weather started to turn nasty. Some construction, eh? So where are we, Flinty? <coughs> Dense head viaduct. And it's a very impressive structure too, isn't it? It certainly is. And the one in the foreground is not a bad structure either. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Well, we just had to stop at various points alongside the River Dee because Flinty loves the sound of rushing water. It has a very strange effect on him and warps his personality, something that I have been very concerned about over the passing years. It sends him into some kind of morbid trance as can be seen from the inserted photo. And so we continue our journey through this amazing valley and look forward to our stay in Dent Village for some refreshments.
Here we are arriving at our destination in the stunning village of Dent. Flinty and I soon realised that we had been here before, over 30 years ago, when we stopped overnight at the Sun Inn, which lies ahead. We stayed there. That's where we stayed. I remember it now. I highly recommend the cafe at the Heritage Centre in Dent. The cakes and food on offer were delicious and the staff were very friendly. You alright Flinty? Unfortunately, it was time to leave this absolutely beautiful village in the Yorkshire Dales National Park and head back to the town of Hawes. Despite some unpleasant weather, we really did enjoy the journey to get here and will definitely return another day, hopefully in better weather conditions. Here follows a very short edit of the return journey featuring some of the wonderful country cottages and houses along the way. The great thing about an out and back trail is that the scenery changes and on the way back it feels like an entirely different trail. The really nice thing about this return journey is that it's all downhill 
back to Hawes. Yes? You won't like it in there. Why? Oh, really? Okay, don't have a look. Oh, no, no, thank you. No, thanks. All right, Flinty. All right, Stoosie. I'm, I'm with you, so I'm speaking Yorkshire again. That's great. <laughs> hey, so what's this you've got us? Cruz Campo. Cruz Campo? I've never had it. It's lovely. It's absolutely beautiful, is that? Very tasty lager indeed. So it's time for some more. <sighs> Now he's gone for a drink next door because he gets stored being in here all the time. I've no box around here. Oh, okay. The barrel were up here, so I've just had to pull it downstairs. Okie dokie. <laughs> so I'm out of breath. Sorry, I didn't realise it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> There you are, my bestest friend in the whole wide world. Thank you very much. <laughs> and so, after a few shandies, or maybe three, it was time to return to the horse campsite for an evening in the camper van with the best pal in the world ever. Oh, we're back. We're back. We're back, Flinty. We're back. We've done it. We've done it. Help, help. It's back. cold now. Cold. I'm feeling very cold and wet. Cold, cold. <laughs>
We are getting bit. Me and the bit. <laughs> 